Hey guys, fishing with Dylan here, and today we're actually at a uh, new spot I've never been to. We're in the uh, Matawoman Creek here on the Potomac River. Um, I know it's been a week or two since I posted a video, but you gotta catch fish to post a fishing video, don't you? So um, here we are, and we're gonna see what we got. Her good news about this place, so time to see it for myself. See you guys out here. Just spooked a snake head. Oh! Guys, that's awesome. That's what I came here for. I just wanted that to happen. I'm happy now. Now it would just be nice to get one in the boat. Whew. Wow. It's still right there by that pad. Still there. I can see the pads moving. Whew, guys, I'm shaking right now. It's been so long since I've had a snakehead top water bite. That was awesome. Alright guys, so I switched up my frog to my um, my prop frog. Mainly not because of the prop. Um, the way that the feet rotate. I mean it is a good really good action. Um, but I mainly did it for the fact that there's a trailer hook on it. So, a trailer hook. Obviously, there's going to be more of a hookup ratio. Fish bites it. So. That was a giant. I know you guys seen that. That was a giant.
That's crazy. Well, you guys seen it. Second snakehead that I missed. have it we went out there we gave it our best shot we didn't get hooked up on anything but that's why they call it fishing not catching um we had a couple good blow-ups um but you know they're going in the spawn right now so uh they're really hard to get on the spawn um snakeheads i mean they're really hard to get in general um i tried a one two three method that i uh, heard of it didn't really work, but that is when you see the uh, snakehead come up and take your top bar to lower underwater, you count to three in your head, and that's when you set the hook. Um, for some people, it worked. For me, it didn't. Um, but, I mean, they they give themselves away. Snakeheads do. Uh, if you look around while you're, while you're fishing, you'll see occasionally maybe a, a, a lily pad will move You'll see a ripple in the water. It could be a snakehead. Cast over there, pop your frog a couple times, right where it was, and maybe it'll come up and get it. Uh, another thing is, the snakeheads I actually learned are air breathers. So what that means is they cannot actually survive underwater 24 seven. Um, it's funny, but they will actually drown. Uh, they actually have to come up occasionally and get a gulp of air. And um, if you look around while you're fishing, you may see them come up and get a gulp of air and that'll give them away. For example, I was fishing one time and in the, in the middle of the cove, I seen this thing come up, grabbed a gulp of air and he was actually finning like a, a redfish does. He was swimming with his back out of the water and I could see him. And I was like, holy crap, it was a snakehead. But yeah, so they give themselves away. Um, but, you know, like I said, we went out there, we gave it our best shot. We didn't get anything, but there's always next time. So, I'll see you guys then. Make sure you comment, subscribe, hit the like button. See you guys.